Hi, my name is Clark Foy with Garmin. I'm the product manager for Vector, uh, Garmin's Vector Power Meter. It's a pedal-based power meter. It measures pedal power as a cyclist pedals throughout the pedal stroke. Made up of uh, two pedals and two pedal pods, so a very simple system. Um, it's designed to be um, easily purchased, easily installed, um, and easily used by the cyclist. No mechanic required. So cyclists can walk into a store, buy Garmin Vector, put it on the bike themselves, and be off and running with power. At the heart of the system um, is a sensor system that's inside the spindle. Uh, it's permanently mounted inside the spindle and calibrated to the Garmin factory. Um, the only thing external to the system is the transmitter, what we call the pedal pod. Pedal pod mounts in through the spindle and gets tightened down onto the crank, very securely mounted on the crank. Um, this is the transmitter and it also powers the spindle. Um, on the back of the pedal pod is a user replaceable 2032 battery, uh, giving the cyclist a uh, minimum of 200 hours of ride time. You've got one of these on the left and on the right, uh, and it connects into the back of the spindle um, through a connector. So the cyclist simply mounts that onto the, onto the crank, tightens it down, and pops the connector onto the back of the spindle. The transmitters also have accelerometers in them, as well as accelerometers inside the spindles, and that's where we also calculate cadence. So there is no external cadence magnet or external cadence sensor to install. So for the cyclist, it's put the pedals on, the pedal pods, tighten them down, ride, and you've got power. Power is transmitted over the Ant Plus network, so to any Ant Plus compatible head unit, such as the Edge series from Garmin, or any other Ant Plus compatible head unit. So you'll get power, plus also left and right balance. So since we're independently measuring your left and right power, um, we're gonna give you also the balance. So how balanced are you um, over time, over cadence levels, over power levels, and even over position on the bike, standing versus seated, for example. So once again, designed to be very easy to purchase, easy to install, and easy to use.